we got today is a Maruku 3800W basically and again I thought I'd do this video so uh, we could have a look at some different engraving now guns open can you see this right part I've got, yep. can you see how wide that rib is yep straight away yeah so that isn't quite as wide but that is what they're going for that isn't quite as wide as what they call a Browning Broadway rib, which is an extremely wide rib. Now, if you look at Nico Shadows, uh, they had a, what was the word? There's a sweet. Uh, it'll come to me and I'll tell you what it looked like. So this is a 3800W. And let's just show you a few of the things that are on it. So this is a skeet gun and it will be marked Luckily enough, S and S, yeah, skeet and skeet. So this will be, if I'd looked it up, because it is proofed in the UK. Yes. You bring the you bring the camera over here, Paul. Start showing the people. Yeah. And I will have a look in my book. And I can tell people. So you've got your deep blacking on it, Paul. You've got your deep blacking on it. You got your hand hand cut engraving or hand done engraving. You've got a nice beaver tail forend on it. Okay, quite a wide beaver tail forend. Yeah. So you just show a few people there. I will find a page in the book and then we can say what sort of date it was. <clears throat> now I should have done this before. I'm gonna take it apart mm -hmm. more. So you can show people inside the four in there. Yeah. So got the Maruku bit. There's so many different places to have a look on these guns, <laughs> Paul. Well, I scuppered me on that one, Paul, because <laughs> that one was proofed in either France, Spain, or Germany. So I don't know what the uh, I don't yeah. know what the proofing is for them ones, but if it had been done in the UK, I could have told you it's been done in one of the other countries. So I can't, unfortunately. So yeah, let's have a look at this. See where this is. Yeah, let's get in. There we are. Yep. All right. Does it say Maruku MFG? Uh, yeah, Maruku Firearms MFG. Manufacturing company. Group again. Yep. Kochi. Kochi, Japan. Yeah. See, that's what they've all got on them nowadays, Paul. So this gun is getting quite late. If I had to have a stab at it, this would be uh, mid 80s Maruku, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. As I said, with a serial number system, Paul, it's all over the place, so you're never going to truly know. Uh, Maruku won't tell you. So, we've got high gloss, that is gloss, isn't it, where it's yeah, shiny like that. Yep. Yeah, I can never bloody get the <laughs> word for it. So we've got high gloss stock, we've got a white line, it's not a recoil pad, it's just a Bakelite pad at the back of it. Bakelite, pulled very gentle way of saying plastic. <laughs> Some people say ebony, <laughs> no, it won't be ebony. So, high gloss stock. Hand checkered, deep black barrels, deep black action with hand cut engraving. So let's just show people, Paul, where I've got the model out of this. So this is a BC Maruku book that in the Maruku President video I showed you basically this is a, a G12. Might just have to tilt it a little bit, getting a bit of glare off the light. A bit glare. That's it. That's better. better. So this is a G12 Maruku President. This is a G11 Maruku President. Interestingly enough, Paul, they're on the front page of this book, but they're not in the inside, which mm -hmm. I couldn't, couldn't quite understand. So there's the outer of the book, Paul. And if anybody watches this video that can see the obvious mistake with this picture, 
please put it in the comments below because uh, I'm quite interested to see if anybody can hmm. can spot the obvious mistake. So you got all that here, yeah? Yeah, that's all in. Got that. Right, let's flip this over. So what we've got here is a trap and ski, basically. Yeah. So we've got the models written at the top here. Zoom in on that bit. Yeah. Now, if you go to the first one down, Paul. The picture, yeah. That's yep. uh, Maruku 3800 HSW. I will move on to a 3800 HSW, providing the man I sold my last one to, Jason, either sees this video or comes in <laughs> and shows it to me. So we've got a 3800 HSW. We've got a 3800S, and we've got the model that we're looking at here, Paul, a 3800W, okay? See it there? It is, yep. Now, at the bottom, bottom there, we've got a model 3800, just a black action with minimalist engraving on it. And over here, which I've not seen one of these models yet, Paul, We've got a 3800R. Now, obviously, seen the Monte Carlo start, Trap 4N, but that engraving, I've not quite seen one like that yet. But what we have got here, Paul, this model 3800SW. Yeah. If we come over to here, we've got a model 3800HS, okay, yep. which is this one here. And that's the next video we're going to do. So if you watch this video and like it, please like it. Um, yeah, so basically, Paul, what uh, I was given this book by my gunsmith, what uh, we can see the differences between the 3800 and the 3700 is the 3800 was a trap and skeet and the 3700 was uh, a hunter or a game gun, basically. So that exploded diagram is that because they're all the same action? No, all the same parts. No, or? no, no, no. This exploded diagram is a parts list, basically. Yeah. So, irrespective of the action types, three seven three eight hundred. If you need a four end screw, four end uh, a butt pad, a trigger group, a whole action maybe. These are your part numbers down the side here. Now, I know when these guns were imported into the UK, they were imported by Parker Hale Limited, which is a Birmingham company that's in the form that it was when these guns were coming into the UK, no longer exists. I think Parker Hale is still going in some, some relative term, but basically these were imported by Parker Hale into the UK. We've just got a little explanation here at the bottom, Paul, about four ends, trap yep. and skeet and weights and stuff yeah, like just that. just done a little zoom in on you that one. you got that. Right then, so, just another video, people, to show you the different styles, the different kinds of Marukus that you can get. So, uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching the videos. Let's keep doing them. Hope everybody likes them.